This is going to be an interesting game. This is a, a defensive-minded team, both of them. Both of them are fairly confident in their line. They're fairly confident in their linebackers. Maybe a slight edge to North Medford when you talk about the secondary. When it comes to offense, they like to run it, both of them. And both of them have been doing really well at running the ball. So really, as it has been reported throughout the week here, as the Rogue Valley Times and others have taken a look at this, it really comes down to probably just who plays the better defense as opposed to who does better offensively. Scores. I think North takes it again this year. Yeah. Yards this season. Tornado 
taking the field. Trevor Healy is getting used to being a first-year starter at quarterback. He's completed so far 70% of his passes for 1,646 yards, seven touchdowns, and only 17 touchdowns, excuse me, and only six interceptions. So both of these teams know how to play defense. Both of these ball clubs know how to play offense as North Texas prepares to kick this one off. Here we go for the first play. They're going to give it off, and I can guarantee you right now that uh, Buckman went nowhere. Look at Ragu back there, but Schwartz is looking to go deep. He fires it downfield, top go away. Tapping that one away it was Jaden Murdoch. <laughs> Healy hands it off to him. Robbins gets around the one, and now he finds space. And he's out to cross the 30-yard line, out to the 36-yard line. Here's Robbins again. He's out to the 40, 45. He's going to be down at the 15-yard line. Second and 14, Healy out to the right side. He's got a man out there. That's Kelly. Kelly has it up for the first down. He is at the 35-yard line. Robbins has it. Nope, they're far. Flip it out to the side to Cicero, but Cicero only gets two yards out of it, down to the 23. There's not going to be nothing there that time for South Medford. Shine is in a running back, and Shine isn't even going to get back to the 20 this time. And now they're going to get loose with it, though. There's a penalty flag. As running at that time was Swartz, the quarterback. Swartz, on a design run, he stopped immediately. Robbins was in there to nail him. Healy, back to pass, fires it out there, got a man, and down to the 38-yard line goes Kelly. Healy, back passing again to his right, over the middle, incomplete. Broken up by South Medford. Swartz back to pass. He's sacked. Uh, he'll pitch it back. And there's not going to be any room there either. And it's going to be another loss. Here's the pass complete. The tackle is missed. It's going to be very close. It is a first down. Sort. No, oh, there's nothing there. My goodness sake. A loss of five. See that Landon Meeker is in at running back. They're going to give it to Meeker. Meeker's going to get it out to the five, at least the six, the seven. Oh, the Menver 
trying to move the ball. Here's Meager again. He's at the 50. He's at the 45 yard line. This time they'll give it to Meeker. Meeker's got the first down. Meeker's got the first down for 35. He's down to the 34 yard line. Healy rolling out to his right. Fires that direction complete. Grabbing it and digging it home as Cameron Mix. He's to the 20. He's out of bounds. That's a good team the yard line. Healy lobbing it for the end zone. It's caught, but out of bounds at the two-yard line. A gain of 12. Give it to Robin. Robin is in the end zone. Top down, Black Tornado. They're going to pitch it to him, and they're going to pass it. He fires it way downhill. Snyder's right there. He's got another interception. He's back to it with it the 40. He picks up a block. He's around the 50. He stops out of bounds inside. Back to Medford territory. It's as simple as this, right? Come in here tighter, right? This is how we're gonna do it. You guys understand me? Yes, go right? Coach Mossy started this this day, right, with warm-ups saying, I got your back, right? It's not I got your back for a half, right? That means I got your back for life, and that's what family is. You guys understand me? Yes, go. Okay. That was a good solid half. You need to go impose your dominance for two more quarters. You guys got me? Yes, coach. There's still lots of fixes that we can do and we're off and running. Yes, you guys good? Yes, coach. Coach. Hey, you need to do, every person in this room needs to do their job. Every person in this room needs to do their job. If everybody does their job and you guys play with the effort, enthusiasm, and the heart that you guys have, we're going to run away with this thing. You guys got me? Yes, go. Gives it off, but there's nothing to it. South Medford changes their running backs a lot. There's Schwartz stumbling out of, from underneath the center. Now he's going to have to run. He's going everywhere. He's trying to get loose. He's not going to get loose. Landon Meeker will bring him down. Back at the 37-yard line. Give it to Robbins again. Robbins is out to the 10. Robbins is out beyond the 10-yard line. He's out to the 14-yard line. Firing to the left side. Complete. Connor Sassero.
6.07 to go. Third period. Robbins. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. It is brought down at, at the South Medford 44 yard line. Let's give him a gain of 18. Back to pass. Rolling out to his right. Looking for help. Got it out there. This is going to be a first down. So still at the 26 yard line. But now with a third and seven. Robbins. He'll take care of it. He's to the 20. He's to the 15. They're going to put him down right at the 15 yard line. If you need it, just give it to one Jeremiah Robbins. They're going to give it to Robbins. Robbins will be really close because it's a first down for South Bedford. And just like that, as we begin the quarter number four, South Bedford from their own uh, six yard line, completes a 27 yard pass. Going deep again, though, incomplete. Knocked away by Cameron Nix. Swartz, he fires it deep. Got a man out there, drop. Peter gives this one to Meeker. Meeker's at the 45. Meeker's at the 50. He's at the 45. He's down to the North Bedford 44 yard line. Meeker to the 35, the 30, the 25. He's got one man to beat. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. Now Robbins is back in. They get near the end zone. They give it to Robbins. He's at the five. He's going to be down to about the three-yard line, maybe even the two. Third and about eight inches. Healy trying to push it over. Does not get there. There's the snap. There's the kick. And it is good. Morris sends it deep. It'll be taken at the three yard line out to the 10, the 15. Gets away from one out to the 20, the 25, the 30. And getting stuck at the 35, the 37 yard line is going to be Ragu. Swartz. Back to pass. Over the middle. Intercepted by Meeker. Meeker is going to be at the 40. He's going to be dropped at the 38 yard line. Oh, that's going to be intercepted. Off of Nolan Kelly. Jump now to the 40. Down to the. Uh, 30, gonna cut it back in, get inside the 30, gonna be dropped down near the 20 yard line. Oh boy, there's a lot of movement there, but they got it figured out, maybe Swart trying to get it underneath the Foss, he does, but he's brought down immediately by Jeremiah Robbins. Swart. Rolls right this time. He'll stop. It's to the end zone. It's knocked away again. And that's going to be the game. And so it's all over here at Spiegelberg. The rivalry this time goes to 
Garth Bedford as they win this one. I count it 10 to nothing. If you go back to last year now, the North Bedford Black Tornado have outscored South Bedford in this black and blue rivalry, 45 to nothing. Get it! 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 Get it!